misses it. Marlon's dropped back a good bit, guys, and he has got back up there to second place. He's got a lot of race car there. Big time racing at its best. The NASCAR Winston Cup and their all-star show into the final lap. Dale Jarrett out in front, the 93 Daytona champion. Sterling Marlin, Schrader, Lavani, Earnhardt all in here. Down the back straight for the final time. Dale Jarrett's going to win this race, guys. He's strong. My God, look at him. I like your attitude there, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. He's come from the back to the front, both seconds. Yeah. I mean, look at him. He's pulling away. Yeah, he's got it now. Robert Yates has done some homework over the winter. They've got some good engines in those cars. A lot of ponies under that hood. Here they come. Down for the finish. On the 18th annual, first crash to the strike. Dale Jarrett is up. Only the third win for four in the Bush Flash. Jarrett gives it to them as he did the 1993 Daytona 500. Wow, what a start to Speed Week's 96. The white the flag's field. in the wind. There's just one lap to go. And Bobby Labonte has caught them. He came from way back in the last two laps. He gets up on Dale Jarrett's back bumper. Our Circuit City onboard camera rides with Bobby Labonte as he closes up on Dale Jarrett. Now there's Schrader, the yellow car to the inside. Boy, oh boy, I tell you what, this back straightaway, as they go down the back straightaway, they're heading that way. Here comes Gordon on the inside. Jeff Gordon in the slipstream of Sterling Marlin, and up the outside comes Dale Jarrett. Oh, they made, they touched on the back straightaway, Marlin on, in the middle there, and here comes the 88 car, Dale Jarrett. And the 28 of Ricky Rudd comes low, trying to sniff a draft off of Gordon. Jarrett to the outside. All that skirmishing left a clear path for Jarrett on the outside. Oh! Right in the wall, hard. Schrader in the wall, hard. Jarrett the winner, Gordon second, and Rudd on his roof for the second time in the Bud shootout, reminiscent of 1984 when his car tumbled in the air. Ricky Rudd, Bobby Labonte wrecked on the final lap. Ken Schrader wrecked. Wow. That was some action. In his first ride for Robert Yates, yesterday, Ricky Rudd claimed the outside pole for the Daytona 500. Today, he goes flying upside down. Movement in the car as the safety crews reach Ricky Rudd. That's good news. Remember All in 84, right. he crashed in the Bush Clash much like this. Came back the next week to finish seventh in the Daytona 500. And the very next week, won at Richmond. He is one tough customer. Yeah, and he just waved to the crowd there. I tell you, that was none of his doing there, that wreck, as it started out. He he was just in the wrong place. If you see him waving to the crowd, that means he's okay. But he has to go to the hospital. That's mandatory when you get upside down or have a wreck at Daytona. And he got a break when he got upside down. Also, he didn't get in the grass and dig in and start turning end over end. Bobby Labonte comes jogging back from his wrecked car through the infield grass. Looks like Bobby's going to run all the way to the ambulance. Spoiler check for Dale Jarrett. And that's the white right flag. And the final lap of the Budweiser shootout at Daytona. Double wide for the race lead. Kevin Harvick to the inside. Dale Jarrett to the outside. That time by Harvick was just a little bit ahead of the, the leader team. by yeah. one hundredth of a second. He's trying. Oh, Ryan Newman uh -oh. turned into the wall. Jamie McMurray. No caution yet. Then we'll race back oh, to the yeah, line, absolutely. and the caution will come out. Here they come to the line. Dale Jarrett trying to block Dale Earnhardt Jr. Going to make it wide. Jr. looking low. No way. Not no going to happen. Likewise, he should have clear number three. You know, in testing here in January, the Yates cars showed some speed. In practice today, they showed some speed. A lot of new members on the 88 team. 
And Dale Jarrett is going to take them all to victory lane. And they're in all year one of 2004, the Budweiser shootout.